What an unbelievable game. As far as Summer League games go, that was probably the best I've seen thus far this year. We saw a breakout performance from Tyler Kolek. We saw Rokas Jokobitis going off. And we saw Ariel Huckaporti finally come into his own. We're going to break down exactly what Kolek did and his game winner in the Summer League game against the Kings. And so much more today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. And make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. Kolek has a breakout performance. The last few Summer League games, he's looked impressive, but I wouldn't call his performances a breakout. He's looked good in some games. He had some offense. The last game against the Nets, he really didn't have any offense, but he was passing the ball somewhat well. But this game, I don't know who got into his ear, but it seems like people on his side were telling him, stop being so passive and score. Because when you shoot, when you try to get to your offense, you look good and you're near unstoppable. We saw Kolek go into his bag have a breakout performance, and was one of the main reasons the Knicks won this game. If for nothing else, it's because of his game winner. Let's take a look at exactly what he did. As you can see here, he gets the ball. He runs with all of his speed all the way into the paint. He sees his defender on side of him. He takes contact. He goes up, and he gets the basket. This is exactly why his game is very similar to Jalen Brunson. Because Brunson does the exact same thing. And right here, you see Kolek do it. He gets the bucket. He makes the free throw. And he ices the game for the Knicks and allows us to win our first Summer League game. The final for this game, 106 Knicks, 105 for the Kings. Tyler Kolek was clutch for the Knicks in Summer League. He had 21 points, 3 of 5 from the 3-point line, 8 assists and two steals. Now, he's not the greatest player on defense. He still needs to get better, but he gives you a lot of effort on that end, and his shooting, his ability to get others involved is just sensational to watch. You can see it on his face. You can see it in game. His intent is to make sure the game is easier for everybody he's playing with, and if he needs to score, he will, but he wasn't scoring the last game against the Nets, but this time around against the Kings, it's like he was told before the game, you need to look for your shot and you need to score. And that's exactly what he was doing. He was scoring from inside, outside, shooting the three ball with confidence. He was taking contact and still making the basket. He was passing the ball extremely well. He was getting others involved. But we have to talk about the other point guard as well, too. Because even though Kolik went off, had a breakout game, and he did very well, I would think that right after him, you could pencil in Rokas Jokobitis for having another breakout game for the Knicks because his performance, especially on the defensive end, was great to watch. I never expected that from Rokas Jokobitis. I knew he had the type of game where he could give you some passing and he could score the ball. But the defense he showcased, his ability to stay in front of his defender, to steal the ball and make sure he finishes when he's at the rack, that is impressive. I like what I saw out of him today. And even though Kolek and Rokas Jokobitis are supposed to go head to head, they're supposed to be competing for minutes right now. But when they play together, something magical happens. They both know where to be on the floor. They both look like they like to play together. And Kolek's passing with Jokobitis' is just natural point guard play. It just works together. They look good together. Now, clearly, they need work. But when they're on the court together, they look good. They play off each other well. When one person is being double teamed, the other person is likely open and they can shoot the ball well. They can penetrate and they can create. That's why playing them both on the court looks very good for this Knicks Summer League roster. And I love seeing them play together. I want to remind everybody that Rokas Jokobite is off the bench as the Knicks get their first Summer League victory at 16 points. He was perfect from the field, seven for seven, had five assists, two steals, and one block. 
He had his best performance as a Nick in the Summer League by far. Him and Kolick showed out. Our point guards today did everything they needed to do to showcase their abilities and let the Knicks management know why they both deserve training camp invitations. Well, obviously, Kolick's going to get one because he's on the roster. But Rokas Jokobitis, he's making a case for himself right now to get a training camp invitation. And hopefully, he can fight for minutes, maybe make the roster, and who knows what that can mean for him and his career for the Knicks. But I liked Jokobitis today. I liked what I saw out of his defense. His offense was looking good. That was to be expected. But our point guards today deserve a round of applause. They deserve pats on the back. And they did phenomenal work. I can't wait till Friday to see what they do at that point in time. Because each and every game these guys play, they gain chemistry. And they understand where on the court they want to be. I think that helps this entire team get better. And hopefully... It will help them win more games. This game was a nail biter. It didn't need to be. The Knicks were leading quite comfortably heading into the fourth quarter. But for some odd reason, they let the Kings get back into the game. And then it became way more competitive. They were fighting down to the wire, but they were able to pull off the victory. A lot of things had to go right for the Knicks. But Kolick and his clutch play... That was something that the Knicks needed, and they finally got to close out the game. If you didn't watch the game, I urge you guys, watch the playback because it was great basketball to see. Shout out to New York Basketball on the app X for giving us the following information. This is what Tyler Kolick was stating about his game when he was interviewed during halftime. According to Kolick, I always got to stay aggressive, get in the paint. My teammates are open. I'm going to make the right play. And time and time again during this game, it seemed like Kolick was making the right play, making the right pass, understanding when to score, when to drive in, and when to give up the ball. That's what you want to see from your point guard. He had great chemistry with a lot of players on the floor, but especially with Ariel Huckaporty. And Huckaporty had his best showing as a Nick thus far. In today's game, he had 11 points. He was 5 of 7 from the floor, and he had 10 rebounds. He was looking for the rebounds on each and every play. It's like he was listening to the coaching staff for these last few games, and now everything clicked. He was trying to clean up the glass. He was doing a good job of that. He was trying to box out, trying to make sure he could get his own offense going, and he did a little bit of that. Now, one criticism that I have is that when he has his offense going inside the paint, sometimes... He goes to his weak side where a defender's right in front of him and he tries to make the basket. Even though if he spun the opposite way, he would have more room to operate and likely have an easier basket. But that goes down to court awareness. And that's my biggest issue with Ariel Huckaporty. I think his game, when he's looking at the basket and he's focused, is very good. But when he's rushed and he's not understanding how much time is left on the shot clock, he'll sometimes let the ball go without even thinking. And that results in a very poor offensive play. He needs to get better. But what I saw today was very encouraging. I think his game is going to get better as long as he understands the fundamentals. And he makes sure he doesn't complicate the game. He makes it easy. Because everybody's playing with on the court is trying to make the game easier for him. Especially his point guards in Rokas Jokobitis and Tyler Kolick. They want to make the game easier for him. They want to break down the defense and get him open. And a lot of times, especially during the second half, you saw Ariel Huckaporty and Tyler Kolick connect on a number of those passes. I like to see that. I hope Huckaporty and Kolick continue to play that way because it works wonders for the Knicks. But right now, we have to be excited. We have to be hyped. The kid that I've been talking about since before Summer League even started. The kid that everybody was talking about was the steal of the NBA draft. And now you're seeing why. This kid, Tyler Kolek, is legit. He is for real. When he's on the court, all he knows is to lock in, stay focused, and try to win games. I love the way he plays. I love the way he gets others involved. And once his defense increases and he gets better on that end, 
And I anticipate a huge jump on that end because of the way he approaches the game. He always wants to learn and he always wants to get better. And under head coach Tom Thibodeau, that's exactly what's going to happen. Once he puts it all together, he is going to be a very special player for this team. And you can see it even during this game. He gave you so many flashes of why he's so good, why he could have went in the first round. By some miracle, though, he dropped to the second round and the Knicks got him. He is showing you each and every game why he shouldn't have been there, but why he has a chip on his shoulder because of it. But what about you guys? What do you think about Tyler Kolek's clutch performance and what he did in Summer League against the Kings? Did you like his performance? Did you want to see other things improve for his game? Let me know in the comments below, guys, because honestly, I would love to hear from you. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below. And of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.